Well, hi, my name is John Young. Welcome to this uh, Twitter for Beginners tutorial. You can find me at johnyoungblog.com. The link is in the description below. Or on Twitter um, via the Twitter handle John Frankie J. Now, um, in this Twitter for Beginners tutorial, I want to walk you through some of the basics of Twitter, uh, including timeline, mentions, retweets, profile messages, now, and this video assumes that you already have an account set up, but you're just learning how to use Twitter and these are the uh, the real basics. So I've just gone to twitter.com and there are many ways of accessing it. You could go and use other Twitter clients, but by using or starting off with twitter.com, you are learning the real um, the real basics that are transferable across to uh, to the other Twitter clients. <laughs> All right, well, let's sign in and let's start. So when you sign in, you're welcomed by your timeline, as you can see over on the uh, on the left-hand side on this tab, you're in your timeline. Now, you'll see here um, that you've got your different menus, your home profile messages, who to follow, then your settings. Um, so the left-hand side is your timeline, um, the, the, the latest tweets that people have put up, um, on the right hand side you can click through to the number of people that are following me um, and the number of people that I um, or sorry the number of people I am following that's here uh, and then the number of followers that I have then below it gives them su suggestions on who to follow and, um, and tells you the trending topics so those are some things we'll get to uh, later on in the tutorial first of all I just want to um, walk you through quickly what this timeline is so I've mentioned here that um, this is your timeline. If we look quickly at this, you've got obviously your little image logo, um, then your Twitter handle is this part here, then um, the name of that Twitter person is, is in there. And this will all become relevant later on when we talk about the profile stuff. Uh, what you can see here is the two arrows in a circular motion. This is retweeted by um, this person here. So. Um, this post actually initially appeared in somebody else's timeline um, and someone that I am actually following and that person then retweeted that. Um, this same person has also retweeted another uh, thing here. So there's a few retweets that we can see in the timeline. Um, things to look out for, okay, this is a hashtag. Um, if you click on that, then it will take you through to um, all the people that have mentioned this particular hashtag. So it's a way of categorizing or finding tweets. And I'll get to that in, in a minute. Um, if we look down on the on the right hand side, you can see here that there are um, little picture icons um, or there's a movie icon. Uh, and you can you can see, okay, this is the long link. Um, and then there's, there's a hashtag. So this person here, is this is their Twitter handle. They've mentioned um, George Michael Hi George, I thought I might like to share our Aussie marriage equality video shot in Sydney. Then you've got a, a link to the um, to the YouTube video on that. You can open that tweet out by clicking on this little um, this expanding bit here, um, and you can actually see a bit of the, the history of, of those uh, that person and, and who retweeted. Uh, but what I what I'd really like to talk about right now is just quickly a you know timeline. Um, so I've been in here for a couple of minutes now and as you can see um, this has come up with five new tweets so this is live and essentially what you can do is when you click on this it'll just show those newer tweets so it's come up and you'll see um, this darker line um, you can, it's just a little bit thicker and that's sort of that that end of that timeline so that's where the new five new tweets have come through all right if we look then at um, mentions so when we click on mentions, these are the people that have mentioned me. Um, and you can see in here, if we look through, um, writing H has mentioned me here, uh, and then there's you know my name. So anyone that actually wants to communicate directly with you, uh, they will add your Twitter handle into the tweet. And if you want to see that sort of shortlist, then you just click on the mentions, and that will bring up everybody that has actually mentioned your Twitter handle. You can go through and you can see a conversation if you click on that little arrow um, on, on the side there. Um, don't know why that one isn't coming up. Oh, here we go. So 
that will give you a you know a, a history. Um, you know, this is something that I posted. Then there was uh, someone had retweeted that, and then other people have retweeted it. Oh, you can see here, it's um, this person had retweeted my post. So at More Times Blog, they wrote um, this in front of the retweet. But then from there, that post by that person was retweeted. So I've created a message, somebody else has retweeted that message, and then three other people have retweeted that message. Um, and you can see there, okay, who's mentioning this tweet? These sort of things are useful. Um, you can find new people, and we'll get to finding new people later, but you can find new people by, um, uh, by opening these sort of messages and then see um, the description of those people below. Uh, let's talk about um, retweets quickly. So if you click on the retweets, so a, a retweet is when um, someone posts something and then another person reissues or retweets, uh, reposts that message to their followers. So I've got um, over 600 followers and not all of those followers are following the same people that I am. So what would happen is, um, if I see in my tweet stream something that I think is value and valuable to my followers, I will retweet that. Now, what you can do is you can look at the retweets by others. So anyone that I am following, if they have retweeted something, then that will come up here. And, and that, so this is all retweets of tweets created by the people that I am following. So it's sort of, it's looking at the level above me or the level uh, in front of me and all the, all the retweets that those people have created. You can look then at uh, retweets that I have done. So, and so this part here is um, you know, retweets that I have done. So if you, in my timeline, when I've seen something that I think is of value to my followers, then I can hit the retweet button. So if I just go back to the timeline, so over, um, say, this tweet, if I liked it, I can just click on this retweet button. So what that's doing is sending this post um, that I've seen in my timeline, it is retweeting that to all of my followers. So if we just go back into the retweets by me, so that's what I've done with these tweets. I've felt that these tweets in here have been of value to my followers, and therefore I have retweeted. Now you can undo that retweet if for some reason, um, you know, you retweeted, it was either a mistake or you no longer agree with that retweet, or you know, there's something that's wrong with that, then you can just undo that, that's fine. Um, there's also in here is the tweets that I've created, the ones that have then been retweeted by my followers. So I created this post uh, yesterday and it was regarding the YouTube video of deaf woman hearing for the first time, which goes went, went viral. I created a link to the YouTube video. I used Bitly to create that link and I'll explain that in a follow-up video. And I attributed that um, post to digital trends because that's where I found it. I find that it's best when you create a tweet to always acknowledge where you've got that uh, that information source from. That way, it's a good way of them knowing, okay, well, you know, our, our post is being shared by this person. But then um, this post was retweeted by others. And when you click on it and opens out this menu, you can see that there's two people here that um, have just retweeted. What they've done is they've just pressed the retweet button and it's retweeted exactly how I've sent it out. So if we look now at searches, you can what you can do is up in the search box up here, you can search for something. So um, Twitter for beginners. If I could spell that would be right. Um, and when you search for that, it brings up everyone that has posted that, you know, that line. You can put in anything you like and uh, search on that. Then if you want, you can save that search by clicking this button. So I'll click, I'll click save that search, that's fine. Um, and let's go back into the searches. And now you'll see that I've got Twitter for beginners right here. Um, once you've saved it, you can access it again. So this one here where I've got PB event, this is um, a pro blogger event that I'll be heading to later this year, uh, in a month or less than a month. 
And what I'm doing here is I've saved that because I want to find people that have uh, uh, used that tag. Therefore, I can connect with those people. So when I click on that, it's um, it's they've got everyone that has um, you know mentioned PB event in the tweet. Okay. Then if we look at Twitter lists, Twitter lists are great because you can use them to um, follow people without necessarily having to come up in your timeline. When you start following people, all of their tweets will come up in your timeline. And if you start following thousands of people, then every few seconds you're going to get hundreds of new tweets because it's just so many people posting new tweets. But what you could do is create a list of people and then you could add um, people you might want to follow to that list. What you're doing is you're not necessarily following it in your timeline, you're following it on that list. So this is a separate function. Now to give you a more example, I've created a list called PB Event 2011. So again, this is that ProBlogger event that I've been talking about in the saved searches. I've created a list of people that are attending that event. And these are the tweets that have come from those people who I've added to that list. But I'm not following as such in my timeline all of those people and if you click on the visit uh, Twitter page what you'll see is that um, you've got three different functions you've got tweets so these are the tweets that everyone from the list have created then you've got following now in the following part you've got um, people that I have added to the list and then and I'll talk about adding people to a list in, a, in another video but uh, the important thing here is, as you can see here, I'm not following some of these people. I am following a couple of them, but I'm not following all of them. So what you could do is you could create uh, a list which is relevant to your industry or your customer base. Then you can follow and watch that list. And if you think that there's some value in that Twitter list, you can then add the... Um, well, you can then add them to your normal wall maybe you're connecting with them in a different way so what you're doing is it's sort of the testing field or it's um you know it's a it's an area where you're saying look there's something about this list about those people they all fit uh, the same sort of category or like they're all you know attending the same event as in this case then you could choose to follow any of these later on um, and plus, if you make the list public, then other people can follow that. Now, you might actually, what I've done is I've created this PB event list and I've let others know that I've created it. So now I've got some people here following the list that I've created. And that's a really good sort of publicity thing um, for you. It, it can actually make you more of an authority on a specific topic. So let's go back home. So we've gone through the timeline and that how they're the tweets. We've gone through the mentions retweets, searches, and lists. Now, there are lists that follow me, so I don't make that choice. People will follow me, and and they're just adding me straight to you know that list. Uh, but what I have done is I've chosen to follow that list back. So if someone has followed me in a list, uh, which you can see here, then I have actually chosen to follow some of these people, you know, or follow those lists back. So this was part one of basics for Twitter. If you have any questions about it, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And if you'd like to be the first to access this sort of information, then make sure you sign up for my newsletter. And uh, that's at, if you go to johnyoungblog.com, uh, you'll find it there. There's the newsletter sign up that you can just. Um, gain access to all the latest tweets and feeds and information I send out. Or you can follow me on Twitter. And my Twitter handle is at John Frankie J, as you can see up here, John Frankie J. Alright, in the next um, in the next tutorial I want to go through more about your particular profile and you know tweets and favourites and more specifically on following and and, and probably a bit more on, on the lists as well. So make sure that you follow on in the next episode.